Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. Do you like precious metals? If so, make sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button because I will give you the newest, latest, freshest, most up-to-date recent information in the world of precious metals. So with that said, let's jump into this video. Now there's a lot of rumors, lies, and myths about silver. Silver's a bad investment. Silver isn't worth anything. Silver price is manipulated. Gold and silver are in a bubble, right? There's so many rumors about silver and most of them are false. So this video is going to combat fiction with facts, right? This stuff you cannot disprove because these are the numbers and this is a very 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 uh, exciting video because I will be able to visualize with you silver's real value so there is no debating this so let, let's jump into this video so silver bulls how silver performs silver has always had intrinsic value in human history and it continues to provide security in volatile financial markets so this is this is why this is one of the many many reasons why silver is such a smart and safe investment silver has always had intrinsic value since the beginning of man since the beginning of money silver has been extremely valuable back in the day in biblical and ancient times it was seen as magical because it could purify water and today it still basically is magical because of the way it responds with elements the way it's so useful in technology with 5g technology with solar panels with electric vehicles with with, with so many different things in the medical world you know the silver nanoparticles so many things silver is used for it basically is a magical element in even today's world so this video is going to show you not only why silver has been so valuable but why it's going to become even more valuable in the future when you're investing into something you always want to look ahead just like when i was investing into bitcoin or investing into an altcoin i'm not looking at what that altcoin did i'm looking at where that coin is going because just like if you're buying real estate if you're going to buy a house in a neighborhood you got to look at the surroundings is there are they tearing schools down or are they building schools up in that area? Are they tearing malls down or are they building malls up? That's going to determine the property or the house value in the future. So you got to do the same thing with precious metals. Silver is only going to be needed more and more and more as time goes on. So since the 60s, there have been six bull markets and seventh one, which we are currently in. Right, so this is the silver bowl, inflation adjusted, the nominal price. You can see any time inflation is adjusted, you can see it's a bull run, right? First started with the Hunt brothers trying to corner the silver market in 1980, which also led to $50 silver. Then you can see another one right here. The main ones that we are looking at, the ones that people are no, uh, you know, that people know of or heard of, it is also in 2011 when. The Federal Reserve ended its second quantitative easing program, which kind of dropped the price. But this started from the 2008 credit crisis, the financial crisis, and then it crashed extremely fast because look how fast it rose, right? Just like back in 1980. If the price rises extremely fast, it crashes even faster. That's why if we want silver prices to stay this high, it has to be a more stable, slower approach. So anyways, let, let's let's look at the let's look at the statistics. So I'm not gonna dive too deep in, into into the nitty gritty. You guys get the picture, you know, so literally. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of just summarize, you know, what's going on. So anytime inf uh, inflation or, or or money is pumped into the economy, it, it pushes the precious metals price higher. So now you can see silver compared to gold, silver versus gold. Silver has outperformed gold in five of the previous six bull runs. Will silver prove itself once again in the current bull run? It's looking like so. You can see back in 1967 to 68, silver 100%, gold negative 40. 1971, 1974, this is when gold actually did outperform silver. But 1980, silver up. 1987, silver was up. 2011 silver was way up 
And now we have one where it's looking like silver is also going to be appreciating faster and higher than gold. So if you're looking at gold versus silver from a financial standpoint, a logical standpoint, silver would be the smarter investment because it gives you more money. You get more profits when you invest into silver. So people saying that, oh, silver is just a, uh, uh, it, it's it's the poor man's gold. You shouldn't invest into silver. You're not, you won't make as much money. That's a, that's a myth. That's a lie. So here's the uses of silver, a renewable and industrial metal. See, most gold is recycled, remelted. It's used for a lot of coins, a lot of bars, a lot of jewelry. Silver, on the other hand, is used in everything. So silver is much more, uh, much more needed, much more attractive in the everyday world than gold is. Silver is more than just a precious metal. It's a critical industrial metal for modern technology and medicine. Here's silver in electronics. Silver has the highest electrical and thermal conductivity of all metals. Silver is used in the contact and membrane switches, room lights, smartphones, laptops, cars, household electronics such as televisions, LEDs, microwaves, refrigerators to improve efficiency. So gold is used for coinage, you know. Silver actually has real world uses. Now think about that. Silver is not only a monetary metal like gold is, it's also an industrial metal. So yes, when the economy's in bad shape, people invest into gold and silver, right, as a safe haven. But also when the economy's in good shape, silver is still high. It still, it still flourishes. It still will rise in a good economy. So it's a win-win situation. Regardless if the economy's in good or bad shape, silver is still going to benefit from it because it's so intertwined in the technology and the economy. So silver and healthcare. During the bubonic plague, families that use silver utensils were more likely to survive. Silver is able to kill 99.9% .9 of pathogens in water. It can treat wounds and infections. It's used in nanoparticles. The nanoparticles are used in eye drops. Fabrics with nanoparticles of silver can kill bacteria. They're making a lot of silver face masks face masks now from uh, from from the pandemic. Uh, there, there's so many things. Silver coins were dropped in milk to preserve it longer. So, now here's where we get into some interesting stuff, right? A, a little bit ago, I was talking about the longevity, how if you're going to invest into something, look at the future of where it's headed. You guys know, probably with Joe Biden, green energy is going to be the new wave of, of, of energy, right? It's going green. Electric vehicles, all that stuff, we're going green. Solar panels. Well, silver is in photovoltaic cells and as we especially in the next 20 years as we revolutionize into a, a green era silver is going to be highly needed for that so silver is a, cre a, a key ingredient in solar energy the silver paste and photovoltaic cells convert thermal energy from the sun to an electric current so in 2019 alone a hundred million ounces of silver was used for photovoltaics so, silver history shows its value as an investment, but its practical use dominates silver demand. Its practical uses, right? Gold is used primarily for an investment. Silver is used more for practical stuff. So, if we're looking at a falling silver supply, a silver shortage, diminishing silver production globally, but a skyrocketing demand, it's only going to push the price up. 511 million ounces of silver is used industrially, uh, 60 million in silverware, 201 million in jewelry, right? Where that's most of golds, 99 million in photo photovoltaics, and this is only these numbers are only going to expand higher. So, as it as its industrial and technological applications continue to grow, silver remains a safe haven investment from political uncertainty and economic distress, while being a cheaper alternative to gold, right? So people. People wonder why, 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 why silver and not gold? Well, here's why. Silver is more volatile. It's like gold on steroids. Higher highs, lower lows. If gold's going to rise 10%, silver's going to rise 15, 20% in the opposite way as well. So let's look, let's look at some of the percentage gains. So you can see the percentage. And by the way, by the way, guys and gals, the link to this article is going to be in the description. I'm kind of summarizing a lot of this because it is a pretty lengthy article, 
So if you want to dive into this and, and kind of go over the, the, the read between the lines, look at all this and process it, uh, the link is in the description. So it's talking about the silver bull markets and, and it's talking about the relative to the dollar, the dollar decreasing, right? So people are saying the dollar strength is directly correlated to, to gold and silver prices. So you can see right here, you know, the, the seven times that happened and that's also the seven bull runs. So that said, not all silver bull markets are the same, nor do they necessarily coincide with bull markets in the price of gold. So, performance gold versus silver. Despite often being referred to as the poor man's gold, silver has actually outperformed gold in five of the six previous bull markets. So, it's so funny. It's like gold is the royal metal, so people want gold to be the better metal. Silver isn't just attractive, isn't just valuable because it's shiny, right? So... So here's the future of silver. This is where, this is the good stuff. So while the future price direction of silver is difficult to predict, this doesn't diminish the increasing importance of silver's role as a metal in electrified future. So industrially, you know, it's, it's useful industrially, photovoltaics, photography, jewelry, silverware, net physical investment. And while silver's uses and applications continue to grow, silver remains a safe haven investment from political uncertainty and economic distress while being a cheaper alternative to gold. So it's not only more affordable than gold, but it's a better investment, right? The gold is already reaching its all-time highs ever, the highest price gold has ever seen. Silver isn't even half of that. So silver still is undervalued. Still, silver still has room to run where gold has already exhausted its price, its price appreciation. So when you would look at, if you would look at gold and silver, right? Silver follows gold. It's its little brother, essentially. So if gold is already appreciated, gold is the bad investment at this point in time because gold already had its bull run. You're supposed to buy that metal or buy that investment before the bull run and then sell it after it broke through. So right now would be the time to sell gold if you bought gold a couple months ago. Now is the time to buy silver because silver still hasn't hit that huge bull run yet, which is probably going to be in the $50 area. So it's still the right time to buy silver. And if you want to talk about the bigger picture, the real value of silver is unknown. And that is the video I was talking about yesterday that I posted. Go check out that video. It's probably my favorite video I've ever recorded on this channel. I broke down the real unknown value of silver to, I, I, I dissected it. I dissected the topic. I definitely think you guys will enjoy it. So with that said, uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you thought this video was educational, informational, or at least just entertaining, make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys and gals soon. Peace.